Welcome back everyone to uh, the hobby table. Uh, today we're doing a, a quick follow-up. Uh, if you've been following me or a subscriber, there's one company I was dealing with called uh, AutographStore.com. Uh, if you saw that, you know that there was some issues involved with that. It, it Between the, the shipping time, the communication, uh, when it finally arrived, the item was just really just com almost completely destroyed. So they sent me another one. Finally got it today. And if you've also been following the comments on the, on the uh, other one, you know that's been a, an interesting of events. Now, first, this is an 11 by 14. Uh, and I think I said 11 by 17 in the first one, but it's actually 11 by 14. Just like before, they sent it in this tube here, which tells me it's rolled. I don't like seeing it rolled. I don't know why it's rolled on uh, something that size. If you followed me before, or if you followed me, you know, I've gotten quite a few things. That size or larger, never rolled. They're in a nice little box. Uh, flattened container, you know, flat like this here. But, now, interesting concept on this, and I actually had to make all my little notes. Okay, so keep track now. March 28th, when I contacted them, they said they had a replacement and they were going to send it to me. That was March 28th. Well, on April 12th, I hadn't heard anything, hadn't seen anything, so I contacted them, asking them, hey, you know, it's been a while, haven't seen anything, just following up on it. They gave me a tracking number. This is where it gets interesting. Tracking number. According to the tracking information, they printed the label that day, the day I inquired them. You know, so they printed it and then gave me the, the uh, this was April 12th. It was the 28th they said they had, they were going to be shipping me out a uh, March 28th. They're shipping me the replacement, is what they said. April 12th is when they printed the label, and that was after I made the inquiry, because I heard from them on the 13th and got the number. But according to the tracking information, here's where it gets fun. Okay, so April 12th, they printed the label out. From the 12th, April 12th to April 29th, it sat in pending meaning it wasn't sent to the post office. So I made an inquiry about where it's at on April 29th. They said, the reply back says they were going to be checking in on it. You know, they're going to check with their shippers, check it out, see what's going on. Eight, uh, May 1st, it finally was picked up by the post office. And then I got it today, and today's being the 3rd, May 3rd. So what that tells me is they just were like blowing me off, had it sitting around, didn't do anything until I started making inquiries and they finally pushed it out. Uh, the first one went the same way. I started making inquiries with them after 20 days of not, not hearing from them. So, just trying to look for my little box cutter. Alright, so now I'm going to check out the status of what it looks like. If you saw the last one, it was in bad shape. So, like I said, I don't like that it's like this. That means it's rolled. Do not understand why they would go ahead and roll a 11 by 14. No need. Box is in better shape this time, though. If you saw the first one, it, I mean, the seam here was busted open. It was just in better shape. Okay. It's in a tube inside this. So that's a little more assuring. Last time they just had it rolled. The picture itself rolled and wrapped in this stuff. Now they got it in a tube, so that's a little better. Uh, their, their so called authentication. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they are not RACC, which is Real Autograph Collector Club. A lot of businesses are associated with them Beckett, JSA. These guys, nothing on it, so, you know, I saw a lot of inquiries and wanted to check them out. And that's, that was the whole purpose of all this, and that's what started it. Not wanting to come out. It's there. I see it. Okay. Well, at least it's in a little better shape. So there we are. This one is in a little better shape. Nimoy. So it's Leonard Nimoy, DeFrost Kelly, and uh, William Shatner. So this one's not all tore up and bent up like the other one, so that's a little better. 
like I said, not too thrilled on how long it took him to get, get that to me. And uh, I was, after this, just going to say, heck with it. I'm not dealing with them anymore. But watching this site, man, uh, and in short, there's a lot of money going into these guys. It's an auction-based uh, autograph memorabilia site. And still, I was like, I, I can't just let it go. I got to know. There's all these people putting it out there. I did it, it, a search, trying to find information on these guys, autographstore.com. There they are right there. Um, couldn't find anything current or new. In fact, the uh, newest thing I saw was actually my own video. Uh, it's the only thing that came up. Everything else was a few years old. Um, and thank you for those who did comment and let me know what they knew of it. But uh, basically, it was like half a dozen information I was able to find. And I still couldn't, you know, that, that, to me, it's like, I still got to know. So I did pick up a, two more items that I was going to send off because I was still waiting on this one. And I didn't know when or to expect it or if. But I still had to know, hey, are these guys legit? So I did pick up two 8x10s. This is how it came. And this did come quick, fast, packaged a lot better. In cardboard, which that can be too. So I don't understand why they didn't do that. Authentications. Now there's sites on these numbers. A lot of businesses, even people I know who do this out of their home. You can go there to the site, enter that number, and it gives you the information. Nowhere on here is the name of who it is you're getting an autograph. It's just a, a basic generic saying this document serves as unconditional certificate of authenticity for the autograph collectibles that bears its matching number uh, prismatic hologram. It, said it was signed in person and obtained exclusively through autograph store. Autograph store unconditionally guarantees it's authentic for life. In order for this document to be considered valid, Collectible and the certificate of authenticity must bear exclusive autograph store matching number, yada yada yada. And it has their information and stuff on the bottom. So basically, guaranteed for life. So that's what they say. And they, and they supposedly have a money back guarantee too. So I picked these two up, like I said, not knowing if that would come in. And I'm going to send these ones in to JSA. And that is a Keith or Sutherland, Lost Boys. And a Val Kilmer. So these were two other two I picked up. And like I said, I will be sending these ones in for JSA authentication. And eventually that one too, but I'm gonna send these in first. You know, just for shipping easement until I get something better on that one. But and once I get that back, I will let them know, let you know how that goes on those two. Like I said, I, it, it just it would be wrong of me in my position for what we do here at the hobby table for you uh, other collectors to just say because of their bad shipping and customer service, blow it off. The main question that we're looking into, yes, customer service, but are they real? Like I said, there was no authentication anywhere except for these. Like I said, I know of a, um, a guy who's running his autograph store business pretty much out of his home. He's associated with the JSA, uh, RACC. I mean, you go to the JSA website, his business is listed on their site that they do stuff with. So it is possible, and like I said, you can't even look up their numbers to see who it is. Like if you find this card and if you're a collector, okay, which autograph was this? No names, nothing. And if you have it framed, these are on the back, and you're like, which one was it? Can I look it up? No. But anyway, so we'll go, we'll send those off and see how they go. Came back better. Mm -hmm. uh, no major creases or anything. The last one, I was trying to keel out some of the... Oops, sorry, that's not it. That was a Hellraiser one. Trying to trying to flatten out the uh, creases, but as you can kind of see, there's one there. Kind of see one right there. It's, it was just the way it was folded. There's a couple of these. You see one there, 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 there. So just trying to uh, straighten it out a little bit. 11 by 14. Don't see why they needed to roll it. But uh, we'll get it taken, checked out, and we'll find out are they real or not, because that is the main thing. So follow us, uh, subscribe, keep it up. And in the meantime, once we get the information back, we'll let you know. Smaller stuff came fast, quick. Larger stuff, it's been a nightmare. But that's another aspect. 
autographs are they real we'll find out thanks a lot guys always follow like i said subscribe follow us so you know get the information on it thanks again if you know anything else about these guys autographstore.com do put it in the comments and let us know Till then catch you next time